contact me at timscomputerfix.net to find out how you can ship me your laptop for repair. Hey everyone, Tim again, timscomputerfix.net on the bench today really quick. Got an HP Chromebook 11-V011DX. And basically what happens when you power this on, the screen just only works when it wants to. I have verified that. And uh, so I'm trying to maybe verify that maybe it's the cable or the screen. I'm saying more than likely it is the screen. This particular Chromebook is uh, all one piece on the, uh, no, there's no bezel on the screen. So i um, kind of already started to take this apart, but I figured I would start make, recording this because there's not a lot of it on YouTube at the moment. But uh, just taking a spudger, we just kind of work down in between the back top lid and the uh, screen itself and it all comes off in, as one piece as you can see here be really careful right in this area there's a camera there so you don't want to go digging deep or being careless there and then we just kind of worked our way down the sides also and it all just kind of unsnaps that's kind of what we have here and then when we get down around to this bottom area it gets a bit tough so what I've done so far or what we what we're going to do is we took, also took a small pry tool and we've started to unsnap here at this clutch cover. We'll go a little bit further all the way down. Now that's unsnapped all the way. Let's see what's underneath it. As you can see right here. Since I don't want to force anything. Right here there's a sticker. See if that exposes a screw. Yep, got us a screw right down there. So that's good. Let's see if I can take this sticker off and gain access to that. So there's that sticker there. And there's our screw. Kind of do the same thing here. Let's see if I can get underneath there with this. Yep. this off real quick. All right. Okay. There's that one. Okay. Looks like we got that screw loose too. So let's see if we can Ah, so much easier when the screw comes off, isn't it? There we go. Just kind of take that a little loose and lay it down like that. And now we have full access to the cable, digitizer, and screen itself. All right, what we're going to do here is I'm just going to mess around with this here, press the power button, and ah, we got a screen here, that just went out, it's going back and forth, let's see, interesting, Hmm, you know, I'm willing to bet that that is the cable, if you notice. Huh. Maybe right in this, um, corner right up in here. I don't think it's in here. I think it's I think it's somewhere down where the cable goes into the laptop. So I think we're going to have to do further investigation. Fortunately, and we're going to have to disassemble it from the bottom. 
and um, pull that cable and kind of have a play around with it and see. So I can tell this is all because of the white light here. I'm going to hold down the power button until that white light goes out. And now it's out, so now I know that the question is, is can we find a cable that is compatible? That is the big question. So let me get the bottom of this off, and then we will have a look and see if we can locate or totally confirm that it's the cable, which I think it is. I feel very confident of that. And then we see if we can source one out. So we're just going to go ahead and probably take this... Uh, Take this cable off. Just so we can get the screen kind of out of the way. We want to treat it very gently. Should be able to pull this right off, I would think. There we go. All right. This is the digitizer board. And it has a little cable here. Disconnect. Let's see. It's a very tiny board, isn't it? Trying to figure out which side this flips up from. Ah, that side. So that flips up there. And we have a very small cable that we just pull out. All right. So get a shot here about how that's routed there because I'm going to put this back together. I may need to know that. Okay. So now we got the screen out of the way, as we'll go ahead and very carefully just holding on to these metal arms here, fold this guy down so that we can now flip it over, having it laid flat. And we're going to look at taking these screws out of the bottom here. small tabs here. Usually there is, and well, what do you know? There's no exception here, huh? Pull off these little rubber tabs here. At the moment, I'm just going to assume that there's no screws underneath the, the feet. up nice and gently using the metal arms where the screen rests are. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is see if I can't work a work a tool up in these little gaps. See if I can get it to pop off. Oh, got some popping going on. There we go. Okay. We'll work our way around. Looks like I have a SD card in here also. We will pull that out. Always watch out for that. You know what I'm going to do? Just to be sure. So I'm going to check underneath these feet. Uh, just to make sure there's not screws under there. Oh, what do you know? I knew things were a bit difficult. Let's try this side. It's easy. What do you know, everybody? So I wonder if they're down here too. <laughs> yep. 
these feet. Let's go ahead and remove these screws. Let's try to work our Okay, we're popping off over here, so that's good. So just be careful as we do have ribbon cables that are attached to like the keyboard area. Okay. So we have now exposed the cable to the screen. So here's what I would like to do. Oh, we want to take our screen we want to temporarily plug it plug it back in. So that's plugged in there. And we're going to power this guy on. And see, as of right now, I get a screen. And I have uh, a login screen and all. So I'm moving this uh, cable around, as you can see here. Aha, see that? That's for me moving the cable. So I have, so I have most definitely confirmed a bad cable. So this, there's no two ways about it. Not, it's not a screen. So I can definitely 100% confirm that. And now I have a full, uh, a full visual on exactly what the cable looks like. And I also have a part number here on this sticker. So we're just going to match us up some numbers here and see if we can locate another cable online. So let's, let's see how we turn out with that. We'll go ahead and get it ordered and we'll get the new cable put back in here. Okay, so we've got our new data cable in for our display. I'm going to go ahead and just undid the two ribbon cables to the keyboard. That'll do a couple things. That'll give me a little bit more working room here and I don't want to accidentally hit this power button which goes through the ribbon cable there. Undo the tape here that's holding down the data cable. Let me open this up just to verify that we do indeed have the right cable. That might be a good idea, huh? So this does look like the cable we need. So there's a, a tab you flip up. On this data cable there, it flips right up like that. And we just pull the cable out like so. All right, let's bring in our new cable, or our newly ordered cable. Okay, we'll go ahead and get it into position. This sticky tape, man, makes it a little bit more tricky to even work with. Huh. Okay, we just kind of work this data cable into place somehow. Having a hard time here. I think that's it right there, actually. And we'll push the ZIF connector back down to lock it into place. I think that's got that. And then we'll just kind of Reroute our cable however way it was. Just trying to get my 
wire management pushed back down in the way in which it was routed. Seems like it went like this. That's it. Pretty sure. We got to get our screen connected now. So we'll raise our little tab here. Very, very small connector here. Flip our little tab up. It was hard to see anything with my hand in the way, but looks right. I think I think that's going to be okay. And then we'll connect up our data cable here. I think we just got that. That looks good to me. Looks good to me. It's flush. So, um, so before we finalize everything, I wanted to test this. Okay, so the way I get the ribbon cables back on is I kind of got to have a reach in this way to kind of get it. It's a little bit difficult, but that's how I connected the ribbon cables was through this method here, lifting up one side and working my way around to get the, working my hands in there to get the ribbon cables connected. So we are connected. Um, just going to set this down on here gently. Okay, let's just test fire this. Okay, we had the screen, which is a good sign. And so what we're going to do now, okay, I'm going to go ahead and move this screen around. And as you can see, or I can see, the screen is not flickering, it's not cutting off. So I think we have uh, in the touch works. So I think we now have a working cable. So that's excellent. So what I will do is we will hit the shutdown button here on the screen and then it now shuts down and we will continue with the assembly. So I want to make sure that I have my wire, my data cable running properly once more from the motherboard to the hinge area and it does look like that that is correct so what I can probably do I want to go ahead and center this up and I need to make sure also that it's uh, routed properly behind this screen yeah right now um, <clears throat> so now I think I can go ahead and lift this back up it looks like it's going to be okay it looks like it's routed all right. So let me see if I can get that to snap down in there. Okay. Seems okay. It snapped. Okay. Seemed all right. They do tend to crack or snap or get cracks in them really easy. Check that out. Let me look this way. Okay, guys, I figured I'd get out here and show you here. So once we have everything nicely snapped down to the top lid cover, everything's nicely snapped down, we'll go ahead and give it a test, power it on, and everything here looks like it's working good. Very nice. And uh, that's it. That's how we do this repair here on this Chromebook. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please rate and subscribe. Hit that like button down below. Hopefully this helps somebody out. So, yep. We'll move this around here. It looks okay. Yep. So, next time, everyone. See you soon.